Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rustic Ranch Garden. I'm glad to see every one of you all and all the newcomers. Welcome to my Rustic Ranch Garden. This is what the garden is looking like and I am about to plant some seeds. I don't know exactly what I'm going to plant but I'm tilling the ground a little bit with the help of Miss Kitty. She's having a really good time right now. So I will keep you posted as to what I am going to plant. Stay tuned. Silly kitty. I'm actually in the greenhouse right now and I have kept these flowers safe from the cold weather otherwise they'd freeze I don't know if they would have made it or made a comeback or not but I've kept them safe here and one of these actually had a real pretty flower oh I think it's down here let me show you right over here look at that and I'm saving these also from the freezes that we've had. We're expecting another cold freeze, but it might not freeze or, and it might. So I'm just keeping them here and I'm going to take them out probably until mid-March or, or so. Uh, so right now I'm going to plant some flowers on this. I know it looks ugly and bad, but what I'm going to do is just pull this uh, debris out like that and then add good soil to it and then I'm going to plant some flowers that I have here and I'll probably keep them here so that they can germinate and um, this is my little greenhouse and I just uh, want to bring you along and show you what I'm doing and I know spring is is almost here but it feels like summer right now. It is super hot. I used to have a thermometer here. I don't know what happened to it. It's pretty hot, but it's supposed to be getting cold this week. So we just have to be safe and not sorry. So talk to you in a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today is pull this back. Just move the dirt just a little bit. And I'm going to add new soil, which I have over here. I'm going to moisten this a little bit. While we're here, let's go ahead and moisten the other one as well, because I'm going to plant flowers. Okay, so, and down below, my other plants are getting watered and just get my new soil get it in there mix it up a little bit just like that we'll see how this goes moisten it up a little bit more and a little bit more going to plant I am going to plant some cosmos 
going to plant some zinnias. Yep. Going to plant some pansies and some marigolds. More marigolds. Okay. So this, I'm just going to throw them on there. This is already moistened. I'm going to moisten it a little bit more. Because sometimes I don't moisten it enough and then I water it after I plant the seed and the seed goes way too deep. And then nothing comes out because the seed is like really, really deep. So this one's going to be Southern Charm Marigolds. I'm just going to plant them all the way around. These are the marigolds. Look at that. All right, so. And hopefully some will germinate. And I'm going to do more marigolds on this side. I'm going to take some of this debris out. Now I am going to put a little bit of soil, not too much. A little bit I'm just getting a head start on my uh, flowers I like flowers but they're just so expensive and before you know it you can really run up the bill in buying flowers so the best thing to do is grow them yourself. So before I forget, I'm going to write down marigolds here. There you go. So these are done. And I will put these aside. These pots I had from last year. That's the soil from last year, so just mix it up a little bit and moisten it up and add a new soil. So I'm going to take you for a little walk so you can take a look at my fruit trees. My fruit trees have already flowered, okay? So now, if it freezes, guess what? The peaches will be frozen. And that happens a lot here in Texas. I will take you for a walk here in just a bit. Here we are. And these are my fruit trees. This is a peach. all flowered. This is one of my peaches. This is the other peach. This one has not flowered yet. Pomegranate. And over here is my apple tree. These are coming out. It hasn't flowered yet, but let me see if you could see that. The little buds are coming out. So this apple tree gave us a lot of fruit last year. We're looking forward to that. And nectarine right over here. This is the nectarine flower. And my other apple tree. Now I forgot what kind of apples these are, okay? I apologize. And they've already budded. This is a nectarine. It hasn't flowered yet. The pear trees have not flowered, so. Okay, I just scared the deer away. Good thing it didn't scare me. And this is the plum tree. It has not flowered yet. And there's the garden. Nothing is going on in the garden yet. I've only moved the soil. 
and I want to show you really quick some of my cactus. Okay, so let's take a look at my cactus. I worked on this last week, so I got these beauties going on here. Now, I don't know if some of them are going to flower, give out a flower. I don't know. I really don't know much about cactus. I just know that they like it here because it is desert-like here at the Rustic Ranch Garden. And that's about it, everyone. I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you soon next time. Thanks for sticking around. Talk to you soon. God bless you.